y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today I'm going to be showing you one of my completed bracelets. It is my blue winter themed bracelet. I don't just wear it in the winter. I really wear it anytime I want to wear a dark blue kind of color. Um, but it has a snowflake, blue snowflake bead and both the blue and clear snowflake um, button charms. Is that the right name? I'll put the names of all this, all the charms on the screen. I do believe most of these are retired. This was my very first, like not like themed bracelet. So before this, I had only had my memory bracelets where I got a charm for a holiday or when we went somewhere or as a present or a souvenir. Um, and they're just kind of a wonderful collaboration of things I love. So they're a charm bracelet, right? Not necessarily a designed theme bracelet, but these blue beads came out and I loved them. I had to have them. I resisted, I resisted. And then when this dangle came out and it says, I love you to the moon and back, that just held a lot of special meaning for me. And I was like, okay, I can build a whole bracelet around that theme. Um, and so it's not a very robust bracelet. It's on an open bangle, which I love because I can just toss it on and I can stack it either with my Christmas bangle, Christmas bangle, my Christmas bracelet, or I can just wear it by itself. But I'm going to show you all of the seven terms that I have on here. And then I have the cute little polka dot end caps on it, which I think are perfect for winter. Um, and I don't know, I just, I love it. It's a quick, easy thing to wear. I am so much better at tossing on an open bangle. Even though I love my main bracelets, if I'm in a rush, I will toss on an open bangle before I will pick a full charm bracelet because it just seems easier. It probably doesn't take that much longer to put a snake chain on, especially one like, my main bracelet, my very first one I ever got, like, you know, it's, it's worn in. I can put it on that quick, but I don't know. It always seems so long. So regardless, I love the open mangle for that. And I love to stack an open mangle with a full bracelet. I don't, I never wear two full bracelets together because they're just heavy and clunky. I know people do it, but that's not for me. So this is how I like to wear them. Either way, we're going to go ahead and get into the video. I'm going to show you everything on this winter bracelet and I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. All right. You ready for a close up look? I love this bracelet. So as I said, it's an open bangle. And I have kind of a symmetrical look, but a very symmetrical look. So I have two of these open work heart charms. These are birthstone charms and I have the clear white and I have the blue. Oh, the lighting is just killing me today. And so I did pick these obviously for the, the colors, not necessarily for the birthstones, but my birthstone is pearl, which this is not pearl, but it's close-ish. We'll pretend. Um, they are beautiful. Then I have this blue charm with the snowflakes. And I have this galaxy charm opposite it. And I, I want one of these for my Avengers bracelet. So I thought about replacing this one with the snowflake charm since they are on Rula Law and stealing this one for my Avengers bracelet, but then it would be 100% symmetrical and I don't think I wanna do that. So pretty. So then we have the two snowflake charms and these are my favorites. They're so sparkly with those button charms and the snowflakes. My mom just got this one in the red and it, it says it's pink, but it's red, but it looks way more pink in person than I thought it would. And so now I'm super disappointed that I never grabbed that because I think if I put it with pink beads, it would look pink. And in the middle, there is that moon and stars and it has 
the blue enamel behind it so it matches. And the back side, of course, is that I love you to the moon and back. It is just my favorite. And it's so easy to wear. And I love that it's symmetrical. I wear it all winter long, not just for Christmas. And those little polka dotted end caps. All right, so because this is an open mangle and I want to show you the charms, I am going to go ahead and we'll take it off and we'll go charm by charm just so that you can see the hallmarks. And the designs. So here is the blue heart. And you can see all of that beautiful engraving. I actually bought these two on the day I went to pick up my new car. There was a Pandora in the same town. And so I was like, I have to stop and get a Pandora bead to commemorate buying my new car. And they didn't have anything car related. So I got these. There's your hallmarks. I'm blinder than a bat, so like I can see them, but I hope y'all can read them. A-L-E. They are so pretty. And I got both of them at the same time. They are identical except for the color of the birthstone. Fingers aren't working. Sorry, y'all. There we go. I love these. I do think they would look really pretty, like, with the Enchanted Heart collection and clip. I have those clips on my, on a bangle with my Tree Monster charm. <laughs> oh, they're so pretty. They catch the light beautifully. I love this kind of intricate open work detailing they do flip but on an open works open works on an open bangle I can snug those spacers right up to them and they pretty much stay still now the galaxy charm look how stunning and these are like four years old I did just clean them but still like they stay in great shape Pandora, A-L-E, S925. I love those CZs. And I know they have these in the open works, and the open works ones are beautiful, but that blue stone back there is just, it's such a vibrant blue. It's so pretty. If I, if I was me back then, if I knew then what I know now, like I said, this was my first ever bracelet and I thought this was the only non-memory charm bracelet I'd ever have. If I knew then what I know now, I would have bought a set of these. I would have bought two. But, you know, at the time I just needed one. And I wanted it to be different from my snowflakes. So... Here's the snowflake charm. My mom just grabbed two of these on Rula Law for her Christmas bracelet. And they are so pretty opposite each other. It's beautiful. It's just not as stunning as the galaxy charm, in my opinion. But look at that enamel work four years later. It holds up. Just doesn't want to focus. Come on. There we go. And then the show stoppers. The best part of this bracelet, in my opinion, the button charms. I love these. I have, I have them in different designs, but I love 
Like I have the Maleficent ones for my Steelers bracelet. I just love the snowflakes on the corners there. Like they're so pretty and they sparkle with all those CZs. If you're not a CZ girl, if you're one of those girls that's like, oh, those don't need as much sparkle. These are not for you, but y'all, I, I want CZs on everything. F925 ALE and on the other side clean as a baby's bottom so pretty. of course there are CZs all the way around they're just not as Stunning as the snowflakes. Last but not least, the dangle. You have to have at least one dangle on every bracelet, right? I guess you don't have to. I just like to. So this one is beautiful with the CZs on the stars and on the moon and CZs all around the bale, which I love. I, I don't really like plain bales. You can see a little bit more wear on the bale here from where the other terms rub against it, but it cleans up fairly easily. S925 ALE. I cleaned this maybe three weeks ago. So pretty. Love you to the moon and back. All right, I'm gonna put it back together and I'll show you the whole bracelet one more time. All right, I love this bracelet. I, I just do, I love everything about it. So I hope you guys like it as well. Let me know if you also like to put mini designs like this on an open bangle, because it's literally one of my favorite things to do now. Um, but you know, when you can't have a full bracelet, this is Perfect, and I don't need a full snake chain full of blue beads. So I hope you liked this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.